Hey guys, this is Neil with Catalyst Machine Works. I'm out here with Alan. Hey guys. And Steven. Oh. And we're gonna do the maiden test flight of these new motors that RCN Power was nice enough to send us. So let me explain what we've done. This top portion of the cannonball, uh, this unitized top portion was mounted onto this one. This is my X-Class rig. And so Alan took and moved this top portion over to here. So we've got it mounted on a new base. Uh, we cut the arms down for beast class size machine. And obviously the motors are mounted up. Just to review the motors again, these are RCN Power. It's the manufacturer. They're GTS 1000. These are 360 kV beasts. These things are absolutely beautiful. So what we're trying to figure out today is <clears throat> what props to use with these. Um, right now we've got master air screw. These are 13 by eight by three. So we're gonna give it a go and see how these do. All right guys, this is Maiden Flight Cannonball Beast Class with the RCN Power Motors. Here we go. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Check motor temperature and the motors are barely warm the ESC's are barely warm I didn't feel any vibration very smooth um, we're just running on the existing tune that we had set up when this thing was a x-class and a different motors so and different props so that's uh Looking pretty good for these it motors, looked, man. It was pretty darn smooth. Yeah. Looked amazing. Sounded amazing. So now we'll crank it up a notch. All right. Here we go. 21 volts per... Okay, we are gonna try some new props. We took off the to, uh, 13 by eight and we put on 13 by 12. 
So we'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing blows up. Wish us luck. Oh man. Okay, so we decided that the uh, 13 by 8 props with this setup are the way to go. So we're going to stick with that. I've changed it over to that and we've put 3300 ma batteries in here, so a bit lighter. And I've turned the GoPro stabilization off, so the props won't be moving around. So now that the testing is done, I'm going to go ahead and give my summary, my thoughts on these motors from RC and Power. Um, so I am extremely pleased with these motors so far. Um, obviously I have not crashed these things, so I don't know what's going to happen there. I can make assumptions, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to leave that up to the imagination. I will tell you that they look very well machined, um, beautiful motors. So. I know a bit about machines and how they work and I can tell, you know, I'm going to make an assumption. Here we go. But uh, looking at how the base is manufactured and the other portions of the motor, I think these will do pretty well in a crash. 
Uh, however, with that said, there is a big unknown here with this aluminum shaft. I don't know what's gonna happen there. Uh, the shaft is replaceable. So there's that, you know, if you bend it or break it, you can obviously replace it. So that's kind of a nice thing, but it's hard to say if these are going to be, you know, very susceptible to bending on crashes. It's an aluminum shaft, so we'll see there. Um, the power on these motors was fantastic. Uh, it propelled this Cannonball Beast class without issue. Um, everything was just barely warm, even when we were beating the crap out of this machine. So that was very pleasing. Um, down low, they were really smooth. Transitions were nice and easy. Um, I wasn't fighting the quad. Um, it just felt pretty effortless. There was plenty of power down low and lots of top speed. Um, the top end on these motors, at least from what I could tell in the video and the way that it just felt in the goggles, seemed to be about the fastest, if not the fastest, on the top end that I have tried. Okay, and this was on 4000 Ma 12S and the uh, 13 by 8 props. So, yeah, I am really impressed with these motors. Uh, you guys did a great job, RC and Power, so thanks for sending them. I know they were not cheap, so we really appreciate you guys sending these to us and letting us test these. And that's it. Till next time.